Okay, so today's lesson is 4.7, adding and subtracting decimals. This is part one of 4.7. So here's your steps for 4.7. Step one is to set the problem vertically. Line up the decimals. It's really important that you remember to line up the decimals. Step two is to add zeros if necessary, and step three is to add or subtract. So here is your first example. You have 3.112 plus 1.2. So you need to make sure that you set up the problem vertically. So you write 3.112, line up your decimals, so put your decimal down, so your decimals are lined up, and then you just write 1 and 2. And you know that you're adding. Make sure you know that you're adding and not subtracting. It says add zeros necessary, so there's no, th no number underneath this 2, so I'm going to add a 0 there. And that says to add, so you're just going to add. 2 plus 0 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, bring that decimal straight down, and then 3 plus 1 is 4, so your answer is 4.32. So look at step two. problem number 2. A whole number 4. If it's a whole number 4, I think of it as like dollar, four dollars. Where, where would the decimal be? It would be right here, after the 4. So then you have, put your decimal, the 8 is in front, and then the 23 you're adding. Since there is no numbers above the 2 and the 3, you add the zeros. So now you just have to add. 0 plus 3 is 3, 0 plus 2 is 2, bring down that decimal straight down, and then 4 plus 8 is 12. So the answer is 12.23. Now, subtracting is exactly like adding. So try number 3 on your own and when you're ready, push play. So you should have lined up your decimal, so you have 9.2, put your decimal for the second number, eight's in front of the decimal, and then 31 is after the decimal. You are subtracting, make sure you know that you're subtracting. Add zeros above the one, now you're subtracting. Zero minus one you can't do, so you need to borrow. So the two changes to one, the zero turns to 10, 10 minus one is nine, 1 minus 3 you can't do, so you have to borrow. 11 minus 3 is 8. Bring down the decimal, and 8 minus 8 is 0. Try number 4 on your own. When you're, wi when you're ready, push play. So you put 12. Since there's no decimal, where you got to remember where the decimal is. It's right after the 12 you are subtracting, put that decimal down, and then you have to make sure your decimals line up. Since there's no numbers above the 4 and the 2, you add zeros. So now you're going to subtract. Well, 0 minus 2 you can't do, so you have to borrow. 10 minus 2 is 8. 9 minus 4 is 5. Bring that decimal straight down. 1 minus nothing is 0. And 1 minus nothing is 1. And here's your last problem, number 5. Try it on your own, and when you're ready, go ahead and push play. So you should have lined up your numbers vertically. You have a, sev a whole number 7, like $7, so 7 is here in the decimal. Add your zeros. Now you're going to subtract. 1 minus nothing is 1. 0 minus 0 is 0. 4 minus 0 is 4. Bring that decimal straight down, and 8 minus 7 is 1. 